you've got your eye makeup on a little bit of lippy but what do you do with this area here well today I'm going to show you the five biggest mistakes that women make when applying contour blush and highlight to mature age skin Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel for women over 50. And if you are a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they'll all relate to you. I'm so excited to be sharing my blush and contour tips with you today because wearing blush and contour in the wrong places can actually add about 10 years to your face. In fact, in the movies, there's a trick that the makeup Makeup artists use and they apply blush to the wrong part of the face to make a woman look much older and blush for me was one of those things that I couldn't master until I learned how to do it properly and after taking the makeup classes one day it just clicked and the technique that I learned that made me understand is what I'd like to share with you today so I'm really looking forward to getting into it and showing you what to do and I'm going to show you on this side the correct way to do it the way that I was taught and on this side I'm going to show you how to do it the opposite of the correct way and the reason I show you the wrong way to do it is because that's a way that many of us can learn a lot quicker so I encourage you to experiment also with doing it the wrong way on your face and that way you'll just get it you'll understand it and it will make so much sense to you okay let's get started the first big mistake women make is when they apply contour in the wrong place in the wrong color and the wrong texture product and this is why I think so many of us can get confused so contouring is meant to create a shadow imagine a young woman okay she's got no makeup on and she's got great cheekbones and she's got like a little shadow underneath her cheekbones and that's natural so when we're doing contour we're trying to recreate that look we're not trying to create a look that's all bronzy and glowy because that's not the natural look of a contour line this photo here is my mum would you believe this is when she was about 30 and I love this photo so much she was a yoga teacher and this was back in the 60s and when I was looking for photos I came across this one and my mum had no makeup on she had a bit of lipstick but she had dark features and beautiful skin and that was just the natural shadow on her face and you can see on her jawline as well so these are the shadows that I'm going to show you how to create and it's really easy once you know what you're doing the first thing I'm going to do is draw some lines on my face to show you the area that we stay in between okay so from your pupil to the bottom of your nose and across and then you'll have a little bit of cheekbone that you'll be able to feel or see and we can go halfway down and a little triangle like that so you stay within these lines when you're doing all of your techniques clearly you don't do this I'm just doing it to show you okay so the three tips for contour were color texture and position now the color is to be three to four shades darker than your natural skin tone and like a brown to grayish tone so we don't want to go golden and bronzy because that's not going to look like a shadow that'll look like something else altogether I've got some products to show you that I'm going to demonstrate with and I'm just going to show you some different price ranges but they've all got the same coloring so this one here is just Revlon sculpt and highlight contour kit and this is the light to medium color range and then there's a darker one for darker skin as well as this but just to show you as a comparison this is my Tom Ford cream contour and see how the colors are very similar they're not gold and they're not bronze and they're not glittery but what they are is three to four shades darker than my skin tone and I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury but just to show you again see the similarities in color so you don't have to go high-end these two products here are high-end and they're beautiful but this one will do the same job and it's the same color so get the right color and you'll avoid making a big mistake 
plus this is matte we want matte the next trick with contour is to use a brush that's not thick so like you'd never apply a contour with a big thick brush like this um, or you know a brush like this is you'd put too much product because a contour should technically be about the size of your finger the line should be the size of your finger not a whole lot of contour we're creating something very subtle and that you can't notice so I'm using this size brush and I'll leave a link below where to get something like this you get a little bit on your brush and then take it off because you don't want to overdo this and then you find your cheekbone underneath your ear and some people have trouble finding their cheekbone but you've just got to push in and find where the bone is and we're going directly under the bone and you draw a line see how I've got this little triangle coming down and you draw a line now so the line is the size of your finger it's not wider and you're creating just a shadow and then you blend it in so you don't want to be able to see this line you want to see the color but not the line and this color really is as good as the other colors it's perfect so I've created a shadow under here I've followed my line and that's the difference between the two sides and that is very very similar to what's on my mum's face from when she was 30 so I'm kind of happy about that <laughs> with our cheeks we're going to add a darker color which means that we're going to recede this area and using the same color principles that we use with our eyes we recede something that we want to make disappear and we bring light to something that we want to accentuate so it's the same if you'd like to make your legs look slimmer you'd wear dark colored pants and if you'd like to make a room look bigger you'd paint it white so this whole technique is that principle we're going to recede this which is going to pop our cheek up and then we're going to add color and light to our cheek so it's going to sit out and this is going to be pushing it up so this is how it works now I'm going to show you how to do it the wrong way and you should try this too so that you get it and you understand but I don't have the wrong color to show you so I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so that you can see and you'd go under your cheekbone and you'd come down like this this is what a lot of people think that you're supposed to do and it's and it's bringing it down and this is what the young women can do because their faces are different to ours ours are sort of heading down south and we need to push them up but on younger skin it's very dramatic and that looks great but for us over the age of 50 I think it's much more subtle and perfect to do it this way so see how this isn't blended I'm not blending it in you don't want to have any lines at all on your face ever we've got to blend in everything so even when I blend this out I've gone too far I've dragged my face down the second big mistake that we can make when applying blush to our face is to put it in the wrong place so a couple of things we've got a parameter where we've got to put our blush the blush sits directly on top of the cheekbone so you feel where your cheekbone is and you put the blush in that area so it goes on top of your contour you layer contour blush highlight and we're going to get this part of the cheek so we're going to make that pop and sit forward okay when you're applying blush it's subtle it's not overdone and it's not too lined and using a brush with an edge like this is the perfect way to get a good application we're going to not go outside this white line and we're going to find the cheek and just go up towards the ear so you feel for your cheekbone and you just go along it with the brush 
and it's sitting right on top of the contour shadow that you've created. And you blend that in. The other thing that's really important with blush for anti-aging is that a matte blush actually makes women look older because it flattens out the cheek. Okay, so when you're choosing a blush, choose a blush with a little bit of sheen in it. And then we can add a highlight on top of that. But remember that flat matte blush actually makes us look older. So don't do that. I'll give you a list of all of the blushes that I think are great and that have a little bit of sheen. But if you've got a cream blush, just warm it up a little bit in your fingers and then tap it on and blend it out. Remember, keep within those lines and just feel your cheekbone and that's where the blush goes. Okay, now for the wrong side and I encourage everybody to do this so that you really get it. The mistake side of blush is where I was getting it wrong because I was coming down too far. I was coming outside this line because I thought that's what you're supposed to do and coming down too low. So watch what happens when I do that. This color here is a really beautiful color blush. I'll use it on the mistake side to show you and I'll do it a little bit darker so that you can see. But if you smile like I showed you before and put the blush on the apples of your cheek, when you stop smiling, they're going to fall down. So we'll start doing that. So you smile and put it here. And then it goes down so it goes flat but because I've gone a little bit too close outside this line you can see that it's already making my face droop and that's the result of putting it when I'm smiling my face drops okay now the trick I was telling you about before that they use in movies is this they're going to go down a little bit further and to make a woman look old in a movie this is what they do. And that's the trick. How good's that? So it's bringing my face down, whereas this side's bringing it up. And another way that we can do it as a mistake is to go all the way up and bring it down and so it's just a hot mess. <laughs> That's why I encourage you to try smiling and applying blush and then letting your face drop to see what happens and then putting it down here which is the trick to make you look old and just see what happens on your face because we've all got different size faces and cheeks and it's a little bit different for everybody and you'll know just for your face what works perfectly for you. Another thing that happens when you smile is you get lines across here. And when you're smiling and putting your blush on and stop smiling, those lines are still there with the blush in the crevices. So up close, that doesn't look great either. So this side's really subtle and it's giving me a lift. And this side is like, whoa, <laughs> what happened there? And I love that I know that trick because just don't do it. Another mistake we can make when adding any product to this area of our face is to use the wrong textured products and consistency for your skin. So the general rule of thumb is cream blush on top of a creamy foundation and powder blush on top of a powdered foundation or a cream foundation with a powder on top of it. So that's the general rule. I use a combination of cream blush and powder blush and when I use a powdered blush I will powder on top of my foundation with a light translucent powder or it will be the powder from my mineral sunscreen um, the one I use is sun forgettable so I'll put that on and that gives a powdered base to apply my powdered blush on top of so cream with cream and powder with powder and that will give you the best look and everything will be in unity and it will look flawless on your face another big mistake that we can make is using highlighter in the wrong way so the way to use highlighter is to gently apply product to the 
top of the cheekbone so that when you're turning you can notice a beautiful sheen and the way to get that wrong is by using sparkles and glitter and shimmery highlighter in the wrong place but all that does is bring attention to any lines that you've got going on in your face and if you put it too far out here or it gets in all the laugh lines and it looks like a mess so it's got to be very subtle and very gentle so if you're out in the sun talking to a whole lot of people they're not going to notice any lines between any of your products it's all going to look like it was meant to be as opposed to on this side they're going to see that product and that product and that product and it won't be seamless so I'm going to show you the right way to do it first and that is to use a product that doesn't have sparkles or shimmer or glitter but has a beautiful sheen and I've got two products that I love that I'm going to show you how to apply one of them is just a shimmer stick and this is by Maybelline it's a very subtle sheen it's got a nice glossy finish um, but no sparkles and the way to test if anything has got a sparkle if your eyes aren't great is to go out into the sunshine and see if the sun brings out the glitter because sometimes you can't tell and then you get it outside and it's got glitter in it so this is a great one and you just apply a tiny bit to the top of your cheekbone okay and then you tap it in that's all you need you want it to be light and subtle and that light is going to make the cheek pop and the other thing I love using on my cheekbones is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter and the reason I love this so much there are many reasons but one of them is that you can apply this to your cheekbones and nobody can tell that you've got product on and it just looks seamless and it blends everything in together so you just add a little bit to the top of your cheek and it adds that beautiful sheen you can take another brush uh, like a fluffy kind of a brush when you finish doing your whole look and just make sure that everything is sort of blended in so just give it a little tap with something more fluffy we're going to apply highlighter in the wrong place on this side of the face the wrong way is to put too much product into where all the lines are so you smile and you just put it all up here so all these lines here are getting glitter in them and see that's just a little bit too much this side here is subtle and beautiful for mature women and this side is if you're younger and Kim Kardashian I guess <laughs> so there you go I hope you've got a better understanding of where to apply your contour blush and highlight please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with all of your friends thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week if you're interested this dress that I'm wearing today I made it myself and it cost me $14 and if you go over to Instagram I'll show you very quickly how you can make one yourself it is so easy you won't believe it